Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to insert and work in the timeline and the simplest tool is here. As I said before, the Rush is very simple version of Premiere that you can use it in a Rush or when you are in a travel, you can easily import and edit your videos and then export it. Click here, click here, you can add your project assets here. As I said before, the Rush main purpose is for editing your clips in tablet or mobile. But I explain in PC, it's always in PC. Uh, you can simply click or click and drag. For example, click and drag your uh, clip on a timeline and release that. <clears throat> or you can simply click, click. For example, I insert two photos and then add. As you can see, it's automatically add your clip uh, another after other and just you can simply uh, insert your asset here in a timeline. Okay, this is a timeline. This is an indi indicator that you can uh, play to play your video back and forward. Here you can play it. You can uh, a step backward one frame or forward one frame or you can go to previous clip like this and or beginning of that clip here this in a slider you can uh, travel along the timeline like this or with this handle you can uh, increase or decrease the size of the clips and timeline to access them all at once. When you select a clip in its settings, for example, transform, we have a settings specific for that clip. You can turn it off to um, bring it back. When you clip any, cl uh, any, when you select any clip, when you're going to end or beginning of that, you can just hold and click and drag to uh, increase or decrease the uh, time of the clips. As you can see, uh, when you click the viewport split to two part, that says that you can, for example, in this time and second. The timeline is in a second. Okay, it's very simple. It's not frame to uh, confusing you. It's in a second. You cannot in. Uh, increase the clip further that is time okay so, since because we have for example one ten, 10 second clip and it is just uh, just that uh, here you can select for example i in this time i want to cut a clip you can simply click on a cut, split and for example you can click and drag bring it up if you want to see more tracks, you can simply click control tracks. As you can see, here we have a tracks here. You can add a three more track to your video at a time. And we have a three track here for sounds. This is our main track. For example, I want to uh, bring it uh, between them. Simply click and drag in between them. As you can see, it's very easy. And with this, you can split your. Or, for example, you want to duplicate this. Select that and duplicate that. As you can see, duplicate and you can bring it, for example, go with at the end. Of. Click and drag or touch and drag it here. If you do not need to, you can delete it. Or if you select that. If, uh, for example, this audio has an... Uh, this clip has an audio with that you can expand that as you can see you can expand all of these uh, clips that has an audio if you click again it's collapsed again uh, or if you insert an audio here you can simply click and drag an audio here audio does not insert above that track because they are just for video and this is your track for audio you can, for example, add a music to your sound. If you click in it, you can go into the sound and we have lots of interesting settings that I explained in the, previous le in the next lesson. And you can click it and expand that audio as well. Uh, okay. Uh, you can, you, we have a right click as 
on a clips via duplicate delete button I'll right click on a clip that has an audio you can separate audio uh, from that clip as you can see the audio uh, it's it's actually extract a sound with that you can separate it but this um, clip the sound is attached to each other just extract a sound if you delete that we have also our sound again it, the main uh, sound from the clip does not uh, you cannot delete that just when you uh, right click and separate it you can just extract the sound from that right click you can expand audio or collapse it and here you can uh, full screen you can activate a loop when you reach back and the most important thing is change sequence aspect ratio it's the landscape it's the go for mobile version it's the tablet as you can see if you click that at the time it's automatically do everything ready for you to your mobile we have an interesting tools here for uh, pan and zoom and auto reframe i explained that to you it's very interesting uh, just it, those are for aspect ratio you can go with on your tablet size or you can change the aspect ratio dimension to the square it's sometimes to it's need to in instagram or some platform that you have to insert your video in a square aspect ratio you can change your dimension with that okay as you can see you can arrange your clips and your audio it's very easy but we have a limitation for, to insert for example we can insert only three tracks and three tracks are for sound and for video uh, as i said before it's a very light version of the premiere premiere pro just for editing some for some that uh, don't want to engage yourself to very complex and lots of sitting in premiere uh, and after that, you can simply go and share it for yourself. That's it. I will explain and share the next lesson. That's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.